What is up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another chill street photography walk and talk. Today's video is a little bit shorter than my previous walk and talk videos because it takes place completely during smoke season, uh, particularly one day when the smoke was very, very intense, very thick over Vancouver. I did mean to do another session, but the smoke dissipated the next day and so I only got this one day to go out and do street photography. I did wear an N95 mask throughout the entire session, so don't worry about my respiratory health. Even with that, um, about a two hour session was all I could handle. My eyes were burning by the time I got back home. I started this session at around a Main and Pender area in Chinatown. I did a previous video there, but it looks quite a bit different in this intense smoke. I got this picture of the guy crossing the street and I think it looks kind of apocalyptic in the background, especially with the cranes and buildings receding into the smoke. I walked down kind of towards downtown and my initial idea was that I would get to Granville Street and take some pictures of buildings around there receding into the smoke, but it was honestly a bit too thick for me to go for that long of a walk. I did get some really good pictures kind of around um, the Tinseltown Mall area and then I proceeded towards the Stadium Chinatown Station. So the footage that you're seeing right now is kind of underneath Canada Place, um, near Stadium Chinatown Station, there's like a Costco there and I've never shot here before, but with the smoke and the golden hour light and all the shadows cast by these big concrete pillars, I thought it was quite an intense look. And so I spent a good chunk of time here waiting for people to walk through the frame, walk through the beams of light, <laughs> walk through these perfectly placed shadows. And honestly, the photos that I got in this area were super exciting and I'm definitely gonna come back to this spot to do more street photography in the future. I'm really surprised that I haven't shot here before because as you guys might know, I love concrete architecture, like big, bold concrete architecture is right up my alley. So that was a lot of fun. So my plan was originally to walk along this road and until I got to like Camby Street Bridge or wherever it would spit me out. I wanted to see how long I could stay in this like pseudo underground area. But then I caught sight of this kind of bank um, of very slippery sand that led up and I couldn't see what was on the top of it because there was like a short wall at the top. And so feeling very challenged, <laughs> I scrambled up the bank, it was very steep, and I got rewarded with this beautiful view of BC Place. So I took some really cool photos here. I also got a really nice film photo that I haven't developed yet. And intrigued by this side of BC Place, I scrambled over the ledge and got into this kind of plaza area where I've never even been, much less uh, shot there before. And I got treated to some really nice views of nearby buildings, quite like these ones, um, and also a really cool view of kind of the back side, I guess, of BC Place, the less explored side, the dark side, if you would, of BC Place. Um, got some more really cool pictures of the architecture. I feel like I sometimes take for granted how cool the architecture actually is, um, but definitely had a chance to linger on it uh, during this session. Just got some, some video clips here that show you exactly how smoky it is. Um, you can see that the color at the horizon is quite a bit different than the color of the actual sky above me and that's because it's so thick with smoke around. So at this point, um, <laughs> my body is pretty unhappy. Um, my eyes are burning and my throat is starting to itch despite the fact that I was wearing such a high powered mask, um, filtered mask. So I'm like, all right, uh, well, the sun is going behind some buildings. I'm getting less of these beautiful golden hour rays. So I'm just gonna kick around for like another 20 minutes and then head back to my car. And it was in these kick around for 20 minutes that I think I got some of my favorite photos of the set. Like this one, love it. This one of the crow, I, I was so excited about these ones and I could tell I was kind of sketching the crow out while I was taking them because he kept like shimmying away. <laughs> I was like, he, he shimmied just to the perfect spot. <laughs> I was like, okay, stay there. Um, found this really cool art piece of these bears I'd never seen before and it's completely mirrored. So there was a lot of really cool things that I tried with that. Um, didn't get anything that was particularly exciting for me, but kind of want to come back there and see what I can get in the future. So after I finished hanging out in that plaza a bit, taking pictures of the bears and the crow, I decided that it was time to head home. My eyes were really burning at this point with the smoke um, and my throat was starting to get really sore. 
So I didn't take too much footage on the way home. Um, honestly, I was pretty tired and it was very hot out, but I did get some interesting shots. Um, got some interesting footage of just how orange it was. Like it looks like we are at the very last moments of sunlight of the day, it's that orange. But actually it was, it was only around seven o'clock. So there was still about an hour until sunset at this point, but it was just so smoky out that it had this super rich orange tone to everything. Here's another shot that really shows that off, like quite how orange it was. I took a slightly different route back and didn't do the underground area. I went kind of around Georgia Street and I encountered quite a treat. Um, somebody had ripped open a bunch of packs of cards and spread them everywhere and so I got some free Pokemon cards, including this Whale Lord V, which I was very excited about because uh, I do collect Pokemon cards, <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, here's some footage of me in the car afterwards with this just sweat circle around where my mask had been, so yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I know that this was a bit of a shorter video than usual, but um, like I said, I wanted to do two sessions and it just was not in the cards, but I thought it would be fun to do a video that was dedicated to Smoky Skies street photography. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, even though it was slightly shorter than normal. If you enjoy videos like this, you want to see more of my street photography, then you can subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down in the description letting me know what you thought of this video, maybe what some of your favorite locations or photos were. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next Monday. I put out a new video every Monday. So until then, stay sharp and don't forget to keep shooting. Bye guys.